Uh, we tried a lot of different things, uh, obviously, in the second half. None of it was great. Uh, I think the thing that really hurt us was the 33 free throw attempts. Uh, I would say that's a record since I've been here, for sure, in the ACC, maybe overall. Um, it's just so hard to overcome. That's what we want to be. Uh, we want our points per possession a lot to be derived from the free throw line. And uh, when they're shooting that high clip and shooting as many free throws, that, that's difficult. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I don't know if he played. Uh, obviously, he played a little bit more in the second half. Uh, I don't know how long he played in the second half before he picked up his fourth. But we tried uh, a variety of things, uh, none of which were great. And there were several possessions. I think Norman that run that you're talking about where uh, they had the ball, we fouled. It's their ball again, out of bounds, under, or it was an and one. Um, too many consecutive possessions where they had more than one shot attempt during that stretch. Uh, we need to do better with that. It's my fault. Uh, I don't want 30% of the crowd leaving, but I don't know that they knew it was happening. Um, I don't know exactly what's right on senior day, to be honest. Um, I think for this particular group, I hate to just shake their hand before the game and get a a round of applause and go, hey, appreciate your work. Um, but you also don't want it to turn into the longest ceremony of all time. And so I don't know what the answer is. I like the th deal that they did on the video board. I thought that was really good. Um, relatively speaking for them, I think they were uh, succinct in what their comments were. But I think you have to honor those guys uh, after all that we put them through and all that they've meant um, to the program in such a short period of time, I think you have to honor them. Can this, I mean, you, don't, you don't want to lose your last home game, you don't want to lose the senior day and all that, but can this almost be a little bit of a blessing in disguise? You got a scouting report these guys, you could see in the second round. Yeah, I think it was 4.43 to go in the second half. We called timeout, and uh, I think we were down seven at that time. 79-72, pretty sure that's right. And uh, brought it back 79-77. And I told our guys at the timeout, we need this, uh, not in a demented way. And I say this in the right f frame. Over the last six games, not counting today, so over the last five games, there's been a lot at stake in every game. And I think our guys have carried that uh, figuratively incredibly well, considering the complexion of our roster. And I think uh, at BC, quick turn versus Miami, I think there was an exhale. I think uh, Wake is really good. I think they can score it as well as any team in the league. Um, but I don't think that we played with the heightened level of energy that we have to play with. I think uh, Ty being in foul trouble in the first half, Ty in foul trouble in the second half, Seth in foul trouble in the first half. Um, it was the most foul trouble we have absorbed uh, since Chris got hurt. And not playing with the energy, I don't think it was bad. I just don't think it was elite. And I think we've been playing with elite level energy. And I think the rhythm of all of that, uh, we don't have any maneuverability uh, when it comes to foul trouble. And then I think when you add in, uh, they shot 21 free throws in the second half. Uh, that, 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 that makes the, the game very choppy relative to the, to the groove that you want to be in and the groove that we need to play in. I, I, don't, I don't even – I only know one of those officials. Uh, I, I don't – I was asking them at the end, 
uh, the one guy I knew, I have it on my game chart because Dyer sends it to me the day before the game. And I was asking him, can you tell me what their names are? Because I didn't know. And uh, so I've seen a lot of stuff. I haven't seen some of the stuff that I saw there at the end, but that's all right. If, uh, if in our last home game that's who the conference commissioner of officials wants to send us, then that's just part of it. Uh, I think some of that was uh, uh, Med didn't make the ones that he typically makes. Obviously, Ty's been playing like a video game. Uh, I didn't think Seth's, all of his were the ones that he's been making. Coming into today, he was shooting 49% in ACC play. Um, I thought the ones five shot were good. I thought the one he shot in the corner opposite of our bench towards the end of the game, uh, I thought that was a big shot if we would have made it. I think that would have tied the game. Instead, we miss and have to foul. So, Obviously, if, if, uh, Wake beats BC on Tuesday, you'll, you'll face Wake is that right? I think anybody we play with the group that we're putting on the floor is a tough matchup. Um, I, th I think they're very good. I think they're very talented. I think what they've done uh, since Coach has been there uh, speaks for itself. Collins is an early entry pro. Uh, Crawford shot 14 free throws, five assists, zero turnovers today. One has been huge for him as a transfer. Uh, the fifth-year kid, man, he started the game great uh, with those corner threes. I really like the complexion of their team. 44, maybe just as productive inside as he is from the perimeter. Uh, 10 is a hard matchup as a combo guard. I like their team a lot. I don't drink. Uh, I'm not opposed to people that do. I don't mean that as a holier than now. Um, I sure would just like to watch. I'd like to. Coach Beamer was like, "Can I ride with you?" And I was like, "Yeah, but what are you going to do?" And he's like, "Well, I'm just going to watch." And I go, "How about you, coach?" And I watch. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I'm not from here, um, but the league. I, I understood what the league was when I got here, and. Um, I really enjoy talking to, it doesn't have to be coaches. Uh, the league is about to change uh, relative to the coaches and, you know, relatively soon over the next few years. But those diehard uh, Bobby Crimmins, you know, those guys that are just, uh, have been following the ACC for decades. And I love listening to them talk and feel very fortunate to just be a part of it. Because uh, I think that, in my opinion, I think this will go down as one of the best ever. And uh, it, it's hard for me to say it when I've only been in the league three years because I don't have the equity to say those things. But uh, it's easy to be a fan of the league, a uh, fan of the coaches, obviously multiple guys that are currently in the Hall of Fame. Uh, more pros have played in this league than any other league. I think that streak will continue. Um, and I think there are coaches in this league that before their career is over will be Hall of Fame guys. So, yeah, I'd love I, – I watch nearly every ACC game, uh, some of it to scout, some of it just because it's like that's fun. Uh, there wasn't as many rebounds to go around, obviously, with them shooting 60%. Um, we're going to be at a deficit on the glass pretty much no matter who we play. We're playing 6-5 and under. Um, that was one of our huge concerns today. Collins is the leading offensive rebounder in the league. Um, his limited minutes obviously helped us in that, but uh, we've done way worse. Thank you, Coach. Yep. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.